Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at section 2.6 on continuity. We're going to start with number nine. And number nine, I haven't written all the instructions out here, but basically what number nine is asking for is it's asking us to figure out at what points or what x values does this function that I've drawn on the board here have discontinuities, okay? And then it wants to say, and which of the rules for limits has it violated or the checklist has it violated? And what are the rules of uh, continuity? Well, number one, there needs to be a functional value at that value of x. Okay, so for a given value of x, if it's going to be continuous at the point, well, certainly it needs to have a functional value at the point. Second, it needs to have a limit value at that point. So as, it gets, as x gets close to that point, it should look like the function is going somewhere. And then third, uh, it need, those two values need to agree. So the functional value and that limit value, they need to be the same thing if we want it to be continuous at the point. Okay, so let's take a look at this graph and let's just look at suspicious points here. The first suspicious point here is the point one because of this hole. Okay, so the question is, does that hole right there make this thing discontinuous at 1? So the first question that we ask is, does it have a functional value at 1? And it does not have a functional value at 1, so it cannot possibly be continuous at 1. So one of the places that this thing has discontinuities is at x equals 1 because it doesn't have a functional value. In other words, f of 1 does not exist. Okay, let's move on to the second suspicious point, which is at 2. And here there is also a hole, but there also is a point. So the first question we'd ask is, okay, is there a functional value at x equals 2? Uh, yeah, there is a functional value at x equals 2. It's 2. The second question we would ask is, is there a limit value at 2? So as I get close to 2 coming in from the left side and coming in from the right side, am I getting close to a value? And the answer is, yes, I am getting close to a value. I'm getting close to the y value, 3. So this does have a limit value. The limit value is 3. So the functional value is 2, and the limit value is 3. The third question I would ask is, are those the same value? No, they're not the same value, so it is not continuous at the point 2. Because if it is continuous, the functional value and the limit value need to be the same. They're not. So another discontinuity on this graph is at x equals 2, and that is because the limit as x goes to 2 of uh, f of x is not the same thing as f of 2. And they need to be the same in order for this to be a continuous point. OK, uh, what about at 3? Let's go through our list. First of all, is there a functional value? Yes, there is. The functional value is 0. I do have a point. Uh, over 3. <clears throat> is, uh, is there a limit value? Well, as I come in from the right, I'm getting close to 1. As I come in from the left, I'm getting close to 0. So there is no limit value, and if there's no limit value, I can't be a continuous point. So another discontinuity would be x equals 3, and that is because the limit, as x goes to 3, of this function does not exist. All right, and everywhere else, uh, there's nothing suspicious going on. It's nice and smooth. And so these would be the three points on this graph where there are discontinuities, and these are the three reasons why. 